I did have concerns about the what if something went wrong. What if something went wrong? There's always that what if something went wrong. I was kind of coming from a, a crisis state of mind where well, something bad will happen when the baby's being born and how do you manage that? I'm in the medical field and so when I was first told that, you know, uh, I'd like to, be, my wife told me, yeah, I'd like to be seen by a uh, midwife, you know, it was very jarring. I know for my family when they said, oh, you're going to be at the birth center, but, you know, what if something goes wrong, what if something goes wrong? And I always said, well, the thing is, is that the midwives are very prepared, you know, they try to look for things before we're like in the moment, you know, I mean, if I need to be transferred, hopefully we would have known that before I came in to have the baby. It would be like, oh, well, we know this was elevated or we know that this, you know, is a concern of ours. They want me to be in the best care. The very first visit here, I was completely put at ease by the midwives that I met with. And any questions I had about safety, anything like that, they answered in, in just, uh, yeah, I was just overwhelmed with confidence. If medical attention is needed, I would get it. No one would deny me that or postpone that. Everyone's working towards the same goal. If they know that my blood pressure is off or my heart rate is off or the baby is just not moving, I mean, they're not going to keep trying to make me be here or if I wanted to be at home, they're not going to say, you, you, know, you can't go back, you have to go, you know, you can't go to the hospital. I was given just facts like this is what happens with births and it, it's not like TV it's not like the movies. I would tell other moms and dads who are concerned with safety that there's more of a risk at a hospital than there is in a private setting or at home and that they need to look into the statistics of hospital births and the interventions that are done or the cascade of events that happen when the natural process is interrupted. In the past you know, a few generations, the number of cesarean rates are going up, and what is the reason for that? Are women becoming less healthy or less able to have a healthy baby, or, you know, is there something else going on? And um, just by looking at the numbers, you can, you can already begin to paint a picture, and it's, and it's something worth noting. If I really needed help, I knew if someone that was on my team, my midwife, my doula, my husband, um, they weren't going to tell me to change something because it benefited them. They would tell me to change something because they knew it would really benefit the baby and help benefit me. And it was never chaotic. It was never, it never felt like a crisis. It just always felt calm and I felt cared for and attended to in ways I, I could not have asked for. Chances are everything's going to go smoothly. And if that is the case, you shouldn't be sitting there wiping your brow saying, oh, thank goodness I, I survived and that every, it all went okay, because it all is supposed to go okay. It was an amazing experience, and I got to help bring my son into the world, which I, I literally held him in my hands as he came into the world, and it's something I won't ever forget. And it's something that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't chose a natural childbirth at a birth center. And with the midwives and the care that I have so far received and with my experiences, their goal is to keep me normal, not to make things abnormal and not to give me something that's going to make things abnormal. They want to keep things normal. That's the goal. You know, you have a safety net. You do have the hospitals. They are out there and you do have the doctors and, the, and, and, all, these, and all these different things as a safety net. So instead of preparing for the worst, how about expect the best?